This video covers a lot of ground. It's pretty much a synopsis of our trip across Newfoundland. I shot some black and white film, shot 35 millimeter with the Leicas, shot some 3200 ASA film and some 100 ASA film, so we'll have a variety of things to do. We wanted to shoot some 4x5, but the opportunity didn't present itself. We saw lots of icebergs. We traveled through little villages like Trinity. What a beautiful place. Look at all the ice and the buildings. These are new buildings, but they're made to blend in. We saw lots of icebergs. Off in the distance, close up. This is a huge iceberg in Ferryland. This is a smaller iceberg. Lots of different strata and colors and so on. I saw this boat in Harbor Grace and I wanted to get a photograph of it. And There was a family of eagles living there. We went downtown in St. John, saw the War Memorial. Then I went out to Flat Rock and Pooch Cove. There's the city from the distance. We're out at Blackhead and this is looking back towards the city. Some icebergs out here off the shore. Some wild, wild sea. This one wasn't really one of the biggest seas that we had, but there was lots of action with waves. It was cold too. We saw a lot of different weather. St. John's Harbor at sunset. What a beautiful place. I've been photographing this for many years. Shot black and white there as well. We'll see what that looks like when I process it. It's Fort Amherst off in the distance. Here I'm on one of my favorite places, the old Highliner Dock, shooting across at the city. There's the cathedral, all the buildings, beautiful colors. Here I am looking at my favorite place again. I just love the houses perched on the rocks. Well, here we are filling up our water jugs at the side of the road. Best water in St. John's is right here. Well, here we are in St. John's, and no trip to Newfoundland is complete without a stop at Chess's Fish and Chips. Well, there's my van and some of the row housing. Chess is just down there. Here we go, Chess's Fish and Chips. Been a while since I had the fish here. Well, we got our fish and chips and we're gonna head on down and eat it on the waterfront. We're not gonna stay in the restaurant. And that's the tasty treat that we've been waiting for. When I first came to St. John's, I lived in the hotel, we used to come there every day and have lunch there. Here we're out in Pooch Cove. I've had photographs published from here before, in calendars and in books. I used different lenses this time. I used longer lenses. I shot some wide angle too, but mostly I was using long lenses to try and change the perspective. We went back to look at the battery again. It was cold, we camped out there for a while photographed the city at night. It's about too dark now. Now we're up along Salmon Ear Line. Morning. There's the Bella Vista in St. John's. There's a bar there from back in the day. Back in Trinity now, some of the old architecture, just beautifully restored and wonderful to look at. I like it in Trinity. Wow, it's very nice. And the ice, now this is a view of Trinity that I haven't seen before. We saw Trinity from a different angle. Lots of icebergs. Now we're blasting along out to the lighthouse. There's one of my favorite stores. Tight, tight streets, bore, or stick fences, like rustic fences, and the tundra off on the side, the orange, orange brown, I don't know what you would really call it, beautiful, and there we see some sun. It's really nice when you've got an overcast day and the sun starts peeking through. That really makes it for me. Now it's getting brighter by the second as we're driving out to the lighthouse. I can't believe how nice it's getting. 
there's always that risk that it's going to turn on you. The icebergs are so cold. Here they are among the rocks. Found this very interesting place. This is Terra Nova Park. It's just beautiful. Bella's running around here just having a blast. We were the only people there, so I let her off the leash. I don't let her off very often because the people are scared of her. <laughs> she tries to be so friendly and just worries everybody. But uh, she really liked being off. She'd been in the van for quite a while and getting out running around really makes her happy. Such a good dog. Really great companion for traveling. When we're in the van, she sure keeps an eye on everybody. Right now, she's doing some exploring around here to see what's going on. Bella can really move, let me tell you, she's fast. Look at her go, wow. She just comes within an inch of me and <laughs> blasts by. And with her only having one eye, her perspective is not very good. Look at the clouds blasting by against the sun. What a morning. We saw these, look at how they've been a bit starved over the winter, I would say. They're probably caribou. We thought they were white moose at first, but I think they're caribou, judging by the way they walk and everything. But they seem to have had a hard winter. This one doesn't look as hungry as the other one did. We're headed for Woody Point. Now I've been photographing the lighthouse at Woody Point for many years. We're driving through the village here. What an idyllic little village. It's so quiet and peaceful, nobody was even up yet. It was cold and raining and uh, pretty nasty weather. But, you know, you can deal with that. We're going down the road, headed for the lighthouse. I'm gonna shoot some black and white film here as well. Photographed it in color, well, because, and that's what it might look like in black and white film. I shot it with the high speed black and white and the regular black and white as well. See what's happening with the road. It's getting icy and uh, sleet and we're bit worried that the conditions might get bad for driving. We might have to hole up somewhere and wait for the weather. That didn't actually happen, but we didn't. We thought it might happen. You never know what's going to happen with the weather. You can check on the internet and it might be right and it might be wrong. And in Newfoundland, the weather can change so quickly. Here they're putting some salt down on the streets. That was my clue that it was time to get out of town. We headed off to Stephenville. We're gonna camp out in Stephenville for a day or two, see what we can see there. As it turned out, we wound up staying in Stephenville for about two days hardly getting out of the van at all. After the first day in the parking lot there, I realized that if I turned the van around, when I opened the doors, the wind wouldn't try to rip it out of my hands and I'd be protected from the hail because there was the fine, fine hail that was sharp. We stopped in the alpaca wool store along the way. Mary likes to get some wool here. She spent about $100 on some skeins of wool. The socks there are about $60 a pair. There's uh, some interesting scarves and things. The alpaca wool is really, really soft. Thing about it, it's like harvested by hand. Here you can see the van with the ice and sleet on the back of it. This is the Walmart parking lot in the morning. Nobody there but us. I tell you, nobody bothered us. I made coffee in the van because, well, it was just too cold to go outside and do it and too windy. 
high winds blow the heat away from the coffee maker and from the barbecue as well so it's uh, if the winds are really high it's impossible to cook or make coffee outside everything just takes forever no matter how long you barbecue something it's always cold before you get it in the van so we found it better to just stay in the van and uh, and keep warm while we waited on the weather. There's no point driving either in conditions like that. Bella's pretty warm there. We've got the Mr. Buddy heater on. Mary's working on some of the video files here. It's morning and we're off on the road again. Another fine day. We're headed to Rose Blanche to the lighthouse. And what a lighthouse it is. Sometimes I call it the castle by mistake because it's, it's made out of stone block. Last year I got an amazing photograph of the lighthouse with the Milky Way in behind it. And as it turns out, when we parked up at the lighthouse, the caretaker came along and was to see what we were up to. And I talked to him for a while and then he knew who I was and he'd seen the photographs and video of the lighthouse. So he said, is nobody going to bother you here? You no. Know? So we were fine to camp out there overnight. At the lighthouse, it seems like the wind comes from every direction at once. We found a little place to set up the coffee maker and the barbecue and hot plate, but my goodness. It didn't have any shelter from the wind at all. I don't know how the wind can come from every direction at once, but it certainly seems to. There's some big mountains along the road. They're a beautiful view. Here I am shooting some black and white film with the Leica. I'm at Isla Marks, Newfoundland, shooting with the Leica M6 with a 135mm lens shooting out of 500 to the second, F32, 3200 ISO film. Shooting the fast film mostly for effect. We're going to see what happens. Shot some with the M4 with 100 ASA film too, so we're going to be able to compare the two in a process of film and make prints when we get back. This will give you a little bit of an idea what I'm hoping to achieve with the black and white film. These are digital shots that are rendered into a black and white. I plan to process the film, make some prints, show you the process of developing the film and making the prints, and then toning them possibly with sepia toner, with sepia toner, blue toner, various things. It's going to be very exciting to develop the film and make prints. Look at this shed, documenting impermanence. This is Diamond Cove, called Diamond Cove for the quartz rocks that light up with the sun. Look how narrow the streets are going up to the lighthouse. Now we're on the gravel road and have to be very careful because the shoulder is very soft. There's the lighthouse. Look at the rocks. Wow. It's just amazing where it is and the high winds that are there. You wouldn't believe it. A beautiful place. This year I didn't get good stars at night, but I got a good sunset and a good sunrise in the morning here. Interesting place. Been here several times and it's very hard to get to. We're out around again looking for a little place just to park up and get photographs. It's a little fishing village here. Brightly colored houses. Here we are cooking at Rose Blanche. The van is here. 
although I had the van there and the cooking equipment in the shed there, it was still almost too windy to get anything to work. Sun's going down now, and what a day. What a beautiful sunset. Bit of an HDR image there on Rose Blanche. There's a wishing well there. I wanted to take Bella up here, so she watched me setting up the camera on the tripod. And she knew what I wanted to do, and I think she pretty well made up her mind that it wasn't going to happen, or she was going to give me a rough time of it anyway. She attacked me all the way up and down the path, and then when I got back, everything was fine. She just wanted to look really rambunctious on camera, I guess. And she wanted to make sure I got it right on the first take. Lights are down, it's evening. Sun's coming up on the rocks, look at that, wow, wow, wow. Beautiful, peaceful, calm, quiet water. This is peaceful and calm, but it can be really, really rough, let me tell you. Beautiful sunrise there. There's the village. I got some wonderful photographs, I think, of the landscape. I like these better with just a few tiny houses or even no houses at all. It's pretty nice. These communities are changing too. I mean, everything is growing up so fast places that you could hardly get to before. There's pavement there. Some of these roads are pretty rough, but they're not even as rough as they were like 10 years ago or so. There's one place I went to last year called Nippers Harbor, and you could hardly get there. And I told the fellow that lived there, I said, when they fix that road, you're going to wish they hadn't because it's going to get a lot busier here. Going to lose that lifestyle. You're just driving through like a desert of rocks and ocean. It just goes on and on and on. Traffic. It's so peaceful. You're not in heavy traffic. Look, there's one truck going by overhead. Roads are not too bad. I mean, they could be better. There's some holes there. Here we're headed to the ferry. Look at the walls of rock on each side of us. When it's nighttime and it's raining, those rocks just look so impressive, you wouldn't believe it. Well, we're headed for the ferry and bound for the mainland. I'm gonna say goodbye to the rock for now. You know I'm gonna be back. I always come back. Come on back to Bella's Vistas. Pretty soon we're gonna be processing black and white film shooting four by five inch black and white film and making black and white prints in the darkroom just like I always used to do. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.